Hey guys, it's Pamela aka Scooter Renee. I am bringing you some Buy It Now videos. If you do not know who I am, again, I am Scooter Renee. I do Monday Motivations on Monday and auctions Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday nights. I am taking a break due to surgery and so I have decided to drop some Buy It Now videos while I am out. If you have never been to a Buy It Now video, it's very simple. All you do is comment below the video and put what item number you would like to purchase. I will invoice you and you will through PayPal and then you will just pay through that way. Once you have paid, I will ship the items. While I am out for my surgery, however, I will invoice as soon as I am able to and then I will ship as, as I'm able to do that as well. So let's get started. Let me show you some items. All right, guys, our first item here is the Grace Before Meals and Grace After Meals Salt and Pepper Shaker. It looks like a book, and it even has the prayer there for the before and after. So here are the top part. I know it does say salt and salt, but maybe someone really likes salt. So there you go. This is item number one. Definitely a vintage piece, and we will do this one for $8. Item number two is Lewis 15th Salt and Pepper Shakers. These are do have some weight to them. The mark is right down here at the bottom, Lewis XV. And so there is a little bit of oxidation here at the top of this one. But I would leave it that way so you can clean these up however you like once you receive them. But these right here, like I said, they do have some weight to them. These right here will be for $12. Number three is like a teapot with a cup. Salt and pepper shakers. So you just take them apart. And there you go. These, I believe, they have Mary Engelbert. Um look to them but they're not marked by that or anything these are in great condition no chips or cracks or anything there you go and both have their corks on the bottom and so this little set right here will be seven dollars item number four is a vintage delf salt and pepper shaker you got the windmill over here and then you have the boat right there it does say wife of Lee down here, and then you got the P and the Z there. These are in great condition, and in fact, those of you that love the crazing, there you go. Plenty of crazing on these beautiful pieces. Both have their cork as well. So there you go. So item number four, this one will be for $10. Item number five here is Vintage Delft Blue Salt and Pepper Shakers. You got the little windmills here. These actually do spin, as you can see. There you go. These are super cute. Love the detailing on both of these. They both have their stopper on the bottom as well. So there you go. It does have the little metal piece back here so you can see where it moves when it spins. And so these are in excellent condition. Item number five, these will be for $10. Item number six are these little kitty cats. So cute in the little baskets. They actually do come out so you can get your salt and pepper. This one is missing a whisker on this side, but still cute as can be. They are marked Japan. So there you go. And like I said, they do come out of the little basket so if you didn't want them in the basket, you could put use those baskets for something else. And there's that one. They both have their corks and everything. This is item number six, and they will be $5. Item number seven comes brand new in the box. These are Linden salt and pepper shakers. These have that blue cobalt blue inside of the silver right there, if you can see it. And these are made in England. They do come in that box with it as well. They are in excellent condition, guys. 
and these will be item number seven box and all uh, we will do this one for eight dollars item number eight these are from wyoming they have that beautiful blue and purple there you got the buffalo you got the elk the coyote there as well so there you go it kind of has an ombre look to it as well they both have their stoppers and it looks like 2005 is on here so that's from 2005 these are item number eight and we will do these for seven dollars item number nine here is a barn and a cow here is your barn right here you got the hay coming out of there there you go there's some detailing on the sides and the back with the sunflower there you got milk on that side does have its cork on the bottom and then the cow itself has got sunflowers all over him super cute and right there you see the cork this set right here number nine will be eight dollars item number 10 is a couple of pictures they're light blue with the lotus flower on the front here's the first one and then they go where it's not painted there on the back there's the second one these are marked made in japan does not have the cork the corks are missing but there you go super cute this is item number 10 and these will be for six dollars item number 11 has probably got to be my favorite ones i pick these up usually no matter what because i just think they're so cute but they're pigs with the long necks and they are pink and white so here you go this is item number 11 you can see a little bit of crazy in them as well these are vintage little curly tail mark japan has the cork as well And then there's that one super cute excellent condition and these guys will be for ten dollars item number 12 these are some little salt and pepper shakers these have that luster look to it they are blue in color they do have their corks on the bottom i do believe these are japan i believe right there made in japan so these are on the little side, but this is item number 12, and these will be for $6. Item number 13 is black and white pigs. They are so cute, salt and pepper shakers. And they have their corks as well on the bottom, just super cute. This one is sitting down, and then the other one is standing on all fours. There you go, and again, both have their quartz. This is item number 13, and these will be $8. Item number 14 is a cat and dog, probably the closest you'll ever see a cat and dog together. You got the yellow dog with his little tongue sticking out, and the black cat with the white on its chest and white paws. Super cute, little funky combo here. Uh, the black cat here has got a pee on its head there, and the cork is in there, but it's just inside, so you can't see it. And it is marked on the bottom, and it says made in Japan, I believe. Oh, sorry. Made in the USA is what that says, and it does have... B and F, R and F is what it has on the side. And I believe it says mole side works, something like that. So there's the cat. And then here's the dog. And again, this one is missing the cork. He does not have the cork, but S on his forehead or top of his head. So there you go. This is a vintage set. So this is item number 14, and these will be $12. Item number 15 is antique silver plated salt and pepper shakers. I love the etching detailing on the sides there that you can see. They just need to be kind of polished up, which I will leave that up to the buyer. 
So there is that one. And I think the tops will screw off for you to be able to fill them back up again. So there you go. There's no marks on them, but they do have some weight to them. The uh, research I did did say that they were antique salt and pepper shakers, and these will be for $15. Item number 16, when I did some research on these, they say that these are a vintage railroad conductor salt and pepper shakers. And so beautiful detailing on them. They have no cracks or anything. They just are in great condition. So here you go on that one. And this one does have the mark on the bottom, uh, Japan. So there you go, and it does say Charles product, something like that. So I'll put it up close so you could probably read it. And then here's the other one. Does not have a mark on the bottom, uh, but they do go together from the research I did. And they both have their corks and everything. So item number 16, these will be $12. Item number 17, these are vintage Inesco salt and pepper shakers. You got the first one here that says we give you thanks for all your gifts. Beautiful blue dress with the blue ribbon, three holes there on the back. No cork on the bottom, but you do have your mark on Inesco there. And then this one has give us this day, this day our daily bread. Again, no cork. And so there you go, two holes on the back. This is item number 17, and these will be for $12. Item number 18, it's just like the blue ones I just showed you, except these are in pink. They say the exact same thing. Again, this one has your three holes, two holes on the back with the black ribbon, and then this one has the three holes there. These do have their Inesco mark. That one has a cork. And that one does as well. So both of these do have their corks. This is item number 18, and it will be for $12. Item number 19, these are a set of iron irons. And they have their rooster on there. These do have a little bit of wear to them, but they got the cute little handle. It is marked Japan there on the side as well. This one does have that little bit of a chip right there on the side, but they're still very well made. Again, you got that mark there on that one as well. And so there you go, the little brown roosters. This is item number 19, and these will be $6. Item number 20, these are the Bunny Hug Salt and Pepper Shakers. You can have them like that. They are green with a little bit of blushing on them with the little black tails. But you can also separate them apart if you need it to. And he's got a little chip right down there on his little foot. But it does say Bunny Hug. Mentelligen, I believe is what the mark is. No cork on the bottom. They do have some weight to them. And then here is this little guy. He also has a little mark on his foot right there, a little chip. But there you go. But this will be item number 20, and these will be $12. Item number 21. These both have a P on top. Uh, might find the S that go with them, but otherwise I'm still going to sell it as a set. You do have the blue cobalt glass on there. One's a little bit taller than the other one as well. These are marked Hong Kong, uh, but they are still pretty. And then their mark is down here at the bottom. So these right here, item number 21, these will be $7. Item number 22, these are Korean vintage sculpted stone carvings. They are salt and pepper shakers. One says Korea, the other one says 61 to 63. So they are vintage. You have the holes there on top of their heads as well. These have some weight to them because they are carved stone, sculpted stone. Lots of detailing. They do have somewhat of a cork. I think it's just sideways in there. Here's this guy. 
So there you go. Because these are made of what they are being stone and being sculpted and everything and being vintage. This set will be item number 22 and they will be $25. Item number 23, these are just super cute, small, silver plated salt and pepper shakers. They are in excellent condition. They have that smooth finished bottom there. They are in great condition. Since these are on the smaller scale, I will make item number 23, $5. Item number 24, these are beautiful. They're gold and they have lots of detailing on their sides there. They each have their cork as well. There you go. And this set right here is going to be a little bit more pricey. I got these at an estate sale and this set right here will be $15. Item number 25, since hunting season is upon us. These are cute deers. You got the buck and the doe. She's got her little spots there on the back. It does have the corks as well. Super cute. No mark on these. This is item number 25 and they will be $7. Item number 26, these remind me of the blue and white cups, but these are vintage. These are Metlocks, and they both have their corks on the bottom as well, and it does have that name, Metlocks, on the bottom. These, this right here, they are item number 26, and these will be $20. Item number 27 is Nasco Japan. This is the Mama Bull with the little baby one she is actually holding him so you have where it looks like this and again there is some crazing on that as well beautiful crazing so there you go there's her she's got the two holes she's got her cork nasco japan and then you got the baby one here whoops he's got a couple of holes there as well cork as well japan this set right here, item number 27, and it will be $20. Item number 28 is a chair and television salt and pepper shakers, and they are Japan Mart. They do have their cork as well. This is item number 28, and this one will be $6. Item number 29, these are vintage Gottinger salt and pepper shakers. They do have some weight to them. Their mark is right here on the bottom as well. So there you go. Beautiful pieces. There's that. Here's this one. Lots of detailing to these guys. But this is how they look. Great condition. Again, this is item number 29, Gottinger, and these will be $20. Item number 30 has to be the cutest little puppy dog, salt and pepper shakers. Uh, they have, I don't know if that is their bow tie or if that's like a barrel. I don't know if these are St. Bernard's or if they're bulldogs, uh, but they are super cute. They both have their cork as well. And so, item number 30, and these will be $6. Item number 31, these are vintage salt and pepper shakers. They are funny looking little puppy dogs. One has an S on them, the other one has P. And this right here, they are marked Japan. This one has its cork inside. This one is missing the cork. But again, these are vintage and they are from Japan. So, there you go. And this is item number 31, and these will be $10. Item number 32, this is Recollection Pink Depression Glass Salt and Pepper Shakers. They do have some weight to them, so they are glass. So there you go. There's that one up close. 
And then here's this one. They are in great condition, guys. So there is your set. This right here is item number 32, and these will be $18. Item number 33, these are vintage Avon salt and pepper shakers. They have the hummingbird with the flowers etched in on the glass. They are in excellent condition. They just look so pretty. I love the hummingbird to begin with. I didn't even know Avon made salt and pepper shakers. So there you go. These are supposed to be vintage as well from what I researched. And so item number 33, and these will be $12. Item number 34, these are the vintage Mr. Peanut salt and pepper shakers. They are plastic. They do have their S and their P on top. Researching these, these sell for awesome money. Uh, Planters is on the front of them as well, but these are vintage. And so the this set right here, item number 34, and I do have more of these if there are other interests. Uh, probably have at least eight more sets, uh, but this set right here will be $25. And again, if anybody else is interested after the first one sells, then the others can come in for that as well. So number 34, $25. Item number 35, this is Van Door Salt and Pepper Shakers. They are a teapot and a coffee cup. It looks like it's got coffee in it. So here is the teapot. And then here is the bottom. It does have the cork. And then on this one over here, it does have the Van Door Mark 1995. And so this set right here, number 35, these will be $12. Item number six is a salt and pepper with the little tray. This is plastic. They're not glass from what I can tell. Uh, but you get the whole set. You get the two salt, well, the salt and pepper shaker set. And then the little tray that has detailing on it as well. This is item number 36, and it will be $8. Item number 37, this is the salt and pepper shakers. These are from the Vintage Black Americana. You got the S on one and P on the other. They got their beautiful colors of red and yellow on there as well. Both have their corks. And so this set right here, number 37, is going to be $30. Number 38, I'm not sure if this is a set that goes together, but they look good together. Bahama Mama, this one is a vintage black Americana. It alone is valued enough by itself, but I decided to go ahead and sell these together. You got the chef right here, again, from the black Americana vintage, and both of them have their corks as well. And so this right, this set right here, number 38, this will be $30. Item number 39 is a salt and pepper shaker. It's a dog house with the dog. This is Occupied Japan. This is number 39. So the dog does come out of the, do the dog house. He is marked Japan on the bottom with the cork. And then the dog house itself is marked ma uh, made in Occupied Japan with the cork as well. These do go together. This is item number 39, and this will be $25. Item number four is a vintage Dutch couple salt and pepper shakers. They do have the silver tops there. So here is the girl, super cute. Does have the cork on the bottom, and then the boy as well has the cork on the bottom. And so this little set right here, set number 40, will be $10. All right, item number 41 is the Red Planter Salt and Pepper Shakers. They are plastic as well. The tops of their hats, you just take off to refill. This is item number 41. These are the Red Planters, and this will be $12. Item number 42 is the bear with his trash can salt and pepper shakers. Bear is super cute. They do come apart, so there's your trash can. Does have the cork on the bottom, and the bear 
and he is super cute has the cork on the bottom as well so there you go these are japan this is item number 42 and this will be ten dollars item number three these are teapots they have kind of that luster look to them the lacquer look maybe uh but these are brown with the flowers painted on the front there plain on the back of them they both have their corks in the bottom as well and so this is item number 43 and these will be seven dollars item number four is a couple of squirrels salt and pepper shakers one on the left looks like he's frustrated because the one on the right is winking his eye because he got the acorn so there you go this one on the bottom is missing the cork on the bottom but super cute and then the one on the left does have the cork on the bottom so this is item number 44 and these will be eight dollars item number 45 are vintage salt and pepper shakers as well these are super cute so the one here on the left says see i'm full of s and the other one says see i'm full of p so these are unesco this one has the cork on the bottom these are vintage this one is missing the cork on the bottom but they both have their unesco mark these this is item number 45 and these will be for 12 dollars Item number 46, these are Lefton Owls. They have the little rhinestones in their glasses there. Super cute. These are vintage. You have the first owl here. He does have his mark. It is signed on the bottom, Lefton. And then it also has the Lefton sticker there as well. And then here is the other one. Super cute. Again, cork on the bottom it is signed these say 1956 on them so these are definitely vintage and still have their stickers so this is item number 46 and they will be 25 dollars item number 47 these are vintage black americana 1950s from what i researched on these these have beautiful crazing in them as well as you can see there does have the cork on the bottom as well as this one so there you go there is the back profile of that one and then here's this one and so item number 47 these are going to be a little bit more on the expensive side because of their value and everything but we will do item number 47 at 50 dollars Item number 48, these are plastic, but they are salt and pepper shaker. They are the little windmills, and of course, these, whoops, these do spin, as you can see. So there you go. They both have their corks on the bottom as well. And so these right here, we will sell item number 48 for $7.00. Item number 49, these are Vintage Adrienne Japan, Made in Japan, Boy and Girl Holland. They're sitting on this shoe, and they are salt and pepper shakers. They do not have their corks, but they are marked on the bottom. So there you go. This is item number 49, and these will be $12.00. And then our last item for this bite now, salt and pepper shakers. This is item number 50. They are, this is a salt and pepper shaker. And they have the little bull pushing a little wheelbarrow. And then you got the little milk jug sitting there on top. They both have their corks on the bottom as well. So there you go. No mark on this, but it is vintage. This is item number 50, and it will be 15 guys again thank you so much for watching this bite now video again if you have any questions please do not hesitate to reach out to me it might take me a little bit but i will get back to you also again all you need to do is comment below what item or item numbers you would like also don't forget if you are a brand new buyer for me you will need to send me an email at scooter renee llc at gmail.com that information is down below in the description i will need your name your paypal email address your youtube name 
and any other information that you would like to share with me. So thank you again. Stay tuned for some more Bite Now videos and have a good one, guys.